Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. So today we're going to continue our exploration of front end design and we're going to be sketching some SUVs in a front 7 8 view. I'm going to start with uh, a very upright petrol powered off-road SUV and then I'm going to sketch a, a more uh, contemporary electric uh, crossover. So we're going to we're going to see some contrast between uh, a very a very traditional design versus a more futuristic design. We're going to talk about some of the design elements that go into the front end of a of an SUV or crossover and, and how those elements define the purpose of the vehicle uh, and its intent. So uh, I'm going to start with a front 7 8 view of a, uh, an upright SUV or a, you know, an off-road capable SUV. I'm going to be drawing my box. We're going to keep it light until it's right. So you can see this, this perspective, this front 7 8 perspective really, uh, really turns the front of the vehicle towards the occupant, front and center. I'm going to draw some, some wheel planes. Our wheels are going to be set somewhat outside of the, of the, uh, the body plane. I'm also going to chamfer the corners a bit, so I'm going to add some, some uh, chamfered corners. What what the chamfered corners do is it just gives it gives it a, a much more robust, strong, capable look to the front end. So I'm going to keep the design the overall design fairly generic. We're not talking about brand at this point. We're really just talking about the main elements of the front end and how they communicate the, the look and feel of the, of the, of the vehicle. So I'm going to start drawing my ellipses. So now that I've drawn my, my boxes, I know where my ellipses need to be. And since I'm essentially drawing cylinders, uh, with SUVs, especially off-road SUVs, you're going to see a lot more of the um, a lot more of the tire. So it's very important that we get these cylinders correct. And then we also need to have an effective clearance over the over the tire for for suspension movement. I'm going to sketch my center line. And so with an SUV, especially a petrol powered or gas powered SUV, we're going to need to have a fairly large grill uh, or air intake. And we're and we also want to have a very strong bumper bumper element for visual strength. So it's very important that, that everything on an SUV looks very strong, very, very robust that it can ram through a brick wall, not that it would, but you want it to look like it can really just run through anything. And, and where we place these elements on the front end is extremely important. On, on the SUV, I want the grill to be up high. I want it to be sort of upright, proud, leading, leading the front end. We have strong corners. So you can see the, the grill or the, the air intake sort of dominates that front end. As we get a little bit more confident in where we're heading with the lines, I can start to darken things up a little bit. And put some some fog light elements or some some corner light elements on there. I'm 
and keep the, keeping the lines of the, the, the body side a bit, a bit more simple. Adding some, some power, power dome details on the hood. A lot of times adding those extra lines on the hood and those raised elements, they just convey power and strength. That's, that's really what we're trying to do is convey power and strength. Also some, some robust fender forms helps a lot to, to convey power and strength. And we're going to have some fairly tall sidewalls and maybe some exposed tire treads. So this would be a very, very tough, robust, rugged, SUV. So contrast that with a futuristic sleek electric crossover and it's going to have a very different character to it. Um, we're going to have a different arrangement of the design elements on the front end and we're also going to have a maybe a much more dynamic sculptural overall shape. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sketch out a, a front 7 8 view going in the other direction. And really, really focusing on the frontal view of the vehicle so that we can really see those, those design elements. I'm putting one box on top of the other. This upper box is going to have a much sleeker, sleeker shape to it. It's going to have a bit more tumble home. I'm going to sketch my, my tires. It's going to still have a bit of ground clearance. So remember, all, all, of our, all of our lines are converging towards a vanishing point on either side of the page, although this, this vanishing point is going to be much further, further off, off the page. I'm also going to put that chamfered corner on there as well. You know, put a little bit more of a dynamic belt line shape on the body side. Since this is a, a, an electric vehicle, we don't necessarily have to have the traditional grill. And we, we can also, we could drop the hood or the bonnet, we could drop it substantially, but because this is an SUV and we still want it to have a bit of strength to it, we're gonna keep it a little bit more upright. And just drawing a center line, just a very, very light center line. And I'm just drawing some guidelines for our, for our, for our wheels. So now I have enough information to draw my ellipses because I, I drew those nice squares. My ellipses are going to be almost closed, very, very, very narrow ellipses, but I am going to be putting a lower profile tire on there and more prominent wheel spokes because this vehicle is going to have a bit more of an on-road presence to it. Still, still semi, somewhat off-road capable, but, uh, but really geared more towards high performance on the road. And just drawing some some power lines on the hood, some some uh, accent lines, just help to convey strength and power. And then, yeah, since this is an electric vehicle, you know, the lighting really starts to take a bit more of of importance of the character of the front end. 
we also want to have some other design elements that take a bit more precedence or priority on the overall appearance of the of the uh, of the vehicle. So, for example, we might have um, a very prominent uh, brake duct or or fog light shape. And we're still going to have maybe a, a small cooling opening, the very bottom. We still want to have some robust uh, fender forms. Because they, they help to communicate power and strength. We have a little bit sleeker windscreen. And a more dynamic belt line. And some you know rugged detailing at the very bottom of the bumper that, that always helps. You see the light graphic plays a very very strong role in defining the the shape of the front end or the the theme of the front end. So even without talking brand, we're, we're communicating uh, traditional versus futuristic. We're, we're communicating sporty versus, versus tough. And there's, still, there's still quite a bit of toughness on this electric SUV, but it's, it's tough expressed in a, in a little bit different way. And so when it comes to sketching front ends, where you place your design elements and how you organize your, your, your character lines, how you organize your graphics, your front graphics, uh, really, really plays a role in not just communicating the brand of the vehicle, but also its, its function, its purpose, um, and its powertrain. Um, we call this the, the down road graphic. If you could, if you could look at this, this vehicle from way down the road and recognize it, um, that's what we want. We want something that's very instantly recognizable. Um, and so front end design is extremely important, if not more important than the, than the side view of the vehicle. And so I encourage you to keep going uh, with sketching different front ends, um, a, a, way, a wide range of vehicles, a wide range of types of, of vehicles, and, and just see what you can come up with. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.